on the, the belt again. Hold on. It's okay, don't worry. Radio Golf, Mike Arthur, Bravo, Echo, Crash Asset, Information, Radio Check. Yeah, it'll be five, uh, I've got QNH 104 on the uh, 2 p White Hunt. 2 p left hand, 2 p right hand, correction. Go on, five, okay. Roger. Uh, golf, Bravo, Fox Shot, Fox into Alpha 1. Let's go first. Uh, How's the radio in that, uh, Joe? Is that working okay? Yeah, it's all good. Really five. I have to speak a bit louder into. Do you? Do you hear okay there? Yeah, I can hear yeah. it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's flooded a lot. Yeah, it is. They do for their power check. Yeah, I'll have to take it. I'll do the same. Got power power. Taken off. Two, three. We're landing in the circuit. We wouldn't normally do these here, but because of all the puddles, we'll do them here. Is locked, isn't it? Down that magnetos on both. Can you see them on both? That magnetos on both. That that's fired. That happy check. That hold that probes are on. And light is on. Hold. Can you just hold that for me a second. Yep. Go for a record, touching down one. Right. Go for a record, lining up 2-3. Okay, 
Hey, I'm going to have to do a short field takeoff here because we need to obviously go through this bit here. Yeah. Um, so when we get past here, I'll have full control of it. Yeah. We didn't have much runway there, but we yeah. did it. Landing lights come off and our flaps can go up because we use flap for takeoff on this one. Okay. And landing light off and those are after takeoff checks. Uh, probably not on those ones to be honest. Those are ones that you should know because you can't check the checklist up for that one. So yeah. the ones that we do after takeoff, you need to commit them to memory. Okay. Look right, good look in the middle, good look centre before we turn onto our what we call the downwind leg. Are you familiar with all these terms I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, yeah, downwind, cool. yeah. You did a bit of studying, you're going to get like planes there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Don't want to bump that, things that you already know, so... But it's good to go through yeah. it again. This is the crosswind leg we call it. Yeah. So we're turning now onto downwind, so good, always good look at right, centre, left. Oh, get into the habit of that. Is that in case of traffic? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So now we're going to be flying heading 05-ish. Stop. Stop our record downwind. Okay, and we'll go to the north, I think, there, because it's, that's how it's looking the nicest. Attitude. We'll stay at a thousand feet just at the circuit height for now. Yeah. Temperature alright for you? Yeah, it's fine. Best doing if that puddle's still there when we come back, we'll land after it. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, it's actually quite smooth. I know it's thundery and there's a thing, but it's quite a smooth day today. But when we get out to the train now, it'll go off over that way. I'll yeah. let you, we'll go through the lesson. Okay. Mike Alpha Bravo, FK, departing the circuit to the north, east, and taking to one route to complete it. Okay, so now we'll speak to Doncaster. <laughs> Over there, one eight, so we'll have to go about north west.
Dog, Mike Alpha Bravo, I can request basic service. Mike Alpha Bravo, Echo Dog, 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 Mike Alpha Bravo, Echo Six one six zero. Say again. Q and A. Q and A. One zero zero three. One zero zero three. Golf club. Okay. When we get past these, if you look on the map, yeah. can you see that the, what the airspace from just here, there's all these wind farms. When we get past the wind farms, we're actually out outside Doncaster's airspace. Yeah. So then we can climb up a bit further. Okay, yeah. But I am just that way because there is a bit of a. Maybe be better over that way, so I'm going to completely change that and we'll go over that way instead because we've got a bit of a rain shower here. So, because we're now at the side of the Trent, we know we're not in Doncaster's airspace anymore. Yeah. So I think south of Doncaster, some sort around here, we're actually looking all right. So I think we'll probably stick to that area because it's a bit rainy over there. Yeah. And this looks clearer over here. So we'll go for that, and this should pass. Wind is blowing it that, out that way anyway. Oh. Okay. So in the back now we don't really need. Sorry. But need those? You keep one of your check your checklist. Yeah. Start the top one. Okay. So. The, Starting this lesson to get out. But it's the first thing we're going to look at is what we said, which is the effects of the controls. So, to know the first thing we need to know about control is who's in control. How do I know I'm in control? How do I know you're in control? If I say to you, you have control, I want you to take your hand, place it lightly between your um, fingers, kind of like that. Don't gri grip it and over control it. And then put your feet, feet lightly on the rudder pedals, but hit balls of the heels on the floor, so you've got control of the rudders. With the ass, you don't need the brakes at this point, the tail brakes. So, um, if I say to you, you have control. So you know you're in control of the aircraft. Yeah. So if I say, I have control, I want you to take them completely off. So you, I have control, you take them off. Now I have control. Yep. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. If I ask you to follow through, you'll put your hands back on this in the same way, loosely on the control column and your feet lightly on the rudder pedals and just follow me through but not put any control movements in so follow me through you say following through following through okay so you have control I have control I have control do you take your off? do I have control yeah. now? yeah and follow me through following through perfect that's great now just turn this around in a second Get up to 2,000 maybe in a second, so I might have a go at that. We've got the Trent Bridge there, that's a good point, because we know we can go back to Santos that way if we need to. Yeah. We always head off to the Trent, uh, the Trent Bridge, it's a good joining feature. Yeah. So, what we're going to look at now is what we call the data attitude. Have you heard of that before? So, yep. The datum attitude. No, I've never heard of that. Right, okay, the datum attitude, it's... Before we start turning in the next lesson about straight and level, we yeah. adopt what's called the datum attitude. So this is actually the datum attitude. The horizon is about a third of the way down the windscreen. Yeah. We're not spending anything like that. We're level, so we're not banked or anything like that. Yeah. Wing tips are in line with, well, if we could see the horizon over there, we can, we can see it kind of there and there. So yeah. we aren't climbing, we're not descending, and we are a third of the way down the pitch. If I ask you to recover to the datum attitude, this is what I'm asking you to recover to. Okay. So we're going to have a quick go at that now. So you, I have control one second. 
I'd like you to put the airflow back on the data master stupid. but you have control. I have control. Great. Right. So you see how that works? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Have another go. So I have control. You could regain the data multitude. Right. Okay. Pretty much that's what I'm asking you to recover to at this point. Okay. Yes, I have control. Another good point in the Trent Bridge, those good ones to remember. Yeah. So, if you regain me the date you have control and put me back on the date and attitude. So, if you hold back there, that's perfect. And in the next lesson, we're going to run a We'll replace the data attitude with what we call straight and level flight. But okay. We're not teaching straight and level today, we're doing the yeah. effects of the controls. I have control again, but follow me through actually. That'll okay. be better. Following through. So the primary effects of the um, controls, so the elevators control pitch. So if I smoothly and progressively pull back on the control column, the nose raises, hold it there, that's called the, the neutral point. Okay. So we're now, so elevators have made the raised pitch up, and if you see the. Well, but the yeah, indicated airspeed is decreasing, so that's the secondary effect we talked about in the classroom. Yeah. If I've slowly and progressively pushed the nose forward, holding it there, centralising that's a neutral point, airspeed is now decreasing, uh, sorry, increasing, yeah. so that's the secondary effect there, and we're in a nose low attitude. Yeah. So if you put them back on the datum attitude. So if you have a go now, if you smoothly and progressively pull the control column backwards, Hold it there. We're now in a nose high attitude and the yeah. speed's decreasing. Yeah. You've now smoothly and progressively pushed me forward. We're now nose low and our yeah. speed's increasing. Yeah. So primary effect pitch and secondary effect is the airspeed. So yeah. I have control again. The next one we're gonna look at is the aileron. So what's the aileron in French it's for it's French for little wings. Okay. Aileron. Um, and they control our roll. So, if you follow me through, following through, I roll to the left, and to neutralise, centralise, we're now in a banked attitude, to yeah. the left. If I then moving progressively roll through to the right, and neutralise, the neutral point, sorry, centralise the neutral point, we're now in a banked attitude to the right. Yeah. Okay. So, from the datum attitude now, you have control if you do miss. Move me progressively to the left. Oh, that's it, and hold it there. Yep. We're now back to the left. Yep. And now yep. if you do smoothly and progressively to the right. With uh, information November, QNH 1003. We're sending flight level 90. Perfect. So I want to radar we're now back to the right. We're happy with that. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is the rudder. Okay, what is the rudder control? The rudder control. The rudder control. Perfect. So, I'm here following me through still. Uh, we'll have on your knees though, Mr. Slight trick. Both hands on your knees if you haven't had a little bit. Run me through on the rudder. If I put in full left rudder, yeah. And full right rudder, we go to the right. Yeah. Uh, Centralised, sorry about that. Okay, so now if you put your full, full left rudder in. Okay, and then to the right. And then all the way to the right. Right rudder, that's it. You yeah. see it controls the yaw around the yaw of that, that axis. Yeah. And that works. Right, right. I'll check. Oh, no. Turn us around again. Ready weather. So, those are the primary effects of these controls. We're now going to look at what the secondary effects are. If you Got the lines you can pull these down. Yeah. It's alright. Alright, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the secondary effects of these 
we're going to look at. We already saw the secondary effects of the uh, uh, the pitch elevator, which was increased and decrease in airspeed. Yeah. So we're going to look at the secondary effects of rudder. Okay, so... I put the right-hand rudder in, you can see it then starts to roll. Yeah. If I let that develop too much, we're going to a spiral dive. Yeah. So it's now becoming in there. So we, to recover from that, it's actually take the power off, roll, 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 roll. Yeah. pitch to the horizon, yeah. horizon, and as the horizon meets the thing, power up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Back to So that was mine to the right, I want you to do the same thing now to the left. Okay. So, if you, you have control. Yep. And if you put your left rudder in, see it then begins to build. Yep. Rolling in, begin the spiral dive, so power up, power off. Roll, 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 check. Pitch to the horizon and power in as we meet the horizon. Yeah. Perfect. That's the spiral dive recovery, really. Okay. Is that our control again? Yeah, have control. So, we're then going to look at the effects of, secondary effects of Aileron, which is similar again. So, climb again. I roll. Can follow me through? If I roll to the right. See, then it actually starts to yaw as well. Yeah. We let that develop, that's going to go again into a spiral dive, so it's power, roll, 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 and it's pitch to reach the horizon, full power on. Yep. Okay, so you have a go, you have control, go to uh, the left, please. So, centralise there. You can see then the nose is slipping, we're yawing. Yeah. That then develops into a spiral dive, we let it speed increasing, so power, roll, 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 roll. Pitch the horizon and power on as we meet the horizon. Yeah. Perfect, that's really good. I have control. You have Happy with that? Yep. Okay. So, we're now going to look at what I would call the control sequence. Level off there, actually, now, because we're The control sequence, what we talked about in the classroom, so elevator, ear, elevator, aileron, rudder. So you have a go, you have control, so have a go with the elevators. Yep. Up. Pitch up, and then pitch down. Okay, datum attitude again. The ailerons. So, to the left. And then to the right. And then the rudder. Left and right. Perfect. I have control to take start this way. Control. Bravo 10, right heading 110 degrees, right there. Right, that's heading 110 degrees, uh, Coast Guard 2 2 Bravo. Okay, we just need to keep an eye on those storms over there, just because we might have to, just in case we need to head back, getting yeah. in quite sharply. All good at the minute, a bit of a light shower there, but if we point it in this blue bit, we should be alright. Right, so the next thing we need to look at here is the effects of power on all these. Yeah. So, if I put the plane high speed but low power, so... Oh, it's got 2 2 Bravo, turn right heading 170 degrees, you cleared our left approach from where you get off the board. Do you feel now that you go through the control sequence, how does that feel? Sorry, have your control? Yeah. If you go through the control sequence now, how does that feel? So, elevators... Uh, ailerons... And rudder, how do they feel? It's uh, responsive. Responsive, but yeah. yeah, a bit more. So, then, if I do low speed with low power, so the storm I would want might go off, but we're not going to store, don't worry. Have yeah. a go again now with the elevator, aileron. Elevators, aileron, and the rudder. Really sluggish and yeah. sloppy. 
But then, it, how about now, if I add power to it? Have I go now? Elevators, aileron, and the rudder. Yeah. Yeah. So they're responsive, because we put the slipstream yeah. back on, so it's re-energised the, the flow. Yeah. Okay, so I have control again. Yep. Right, so, we're in a climb now. I'm going to now put the nose, so you have control, and yep. regain the data, regain the datum attitude for me. How does that feel? Yeah. Okay, so I move that up now, power back to there, and we trim forward for that. How does that feel? Better? Yeah. Less force. So, if we have force on the control, what we need to do is either if it's forward, we need to trim forward, yeah. and if it's back, we need to trim back. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. So, do you hold that data, Matt? I'm just going to have control one second. Yeah. So can you re regain the datum attitude for me and trim? You need to trim? So how does it feel there? Uh, so regain it first, hold yeah. it there. Let, let, let me fly hands off for a second. Yeah. Is it moving away? It's pretty good though, actually. Yeah. So it's pretty well trimmed at the minute slightly, there. Slightly up. Yeah. So, that's that. The next thing we're going to look at, like I said, is the um, what each of the controls do. So, the throttle has what we call a dead band and a live band. The dead band is the top of the throttle. If I put the throttle in there, that doesn't really do too much. A big increase in wood in here, but I go like that, it's not really doing much. Yeah. However, if I move it here, it's a big difference. Yeah. So you have a go with that. The dead band at the top. Push it all the way in there. Not yeah. much to pull it out slightly, not much difference there. Yeah. Pull it out. Quite a big difference. So yeah. the two, three we set for cruise, and we're here. If you notice, when I put the throttle in, the plane goes off to the left. But it's the, wet, the, the slipstream affecting the rudder there. Yeah. And if I pull it, take it off, we go down. Eventually, go down and to the right. Yeah. So we set this by what we call sound and feel. So if I set the power by sound, when I say sound and feel, I'm setting it so that I can hear, that's the cruise, that's pretty much sounds it, and then I check it on here to make sure it's right. So yeah. when I say sound and feel, that's how we set the power. Okay. So if I say I want to set the, the power low by sound and feel, hear it. Yeah. That sounds about right, maybe a bit more, and check it there, 15. Yeah. If I then want to increase it, I'll oh, notice we've gone to the left, low yeah. to the left, grab it off and put it back in, by sound and feel, I know that's full power because I can hear it. Yeah. And we go off of there. That's why we need a bit of rudder control with that. Yeah. Now I'm just going to put that back to cruise. So do you want to have a go with that? If you put the car peat on first, okay. set the power by sound and feel to 15. Perfect. So you notice we go there. Yeah. And then if you take the car peat away again and put the power into full, you'll see it goes back yeah. to that side and we can set it by sound and feel. Yeah. So I have control then? Yeah. Now at 2300 again. So, next thing we look at is the mixture. We won't pull that out because it stops the engine all the way. It's called idle cut off. So, yeah, that's full, fully rich at the minute. We use that for takeoff. Yep. In the cruise, we can lean it off so there's not much, we're using as much fuel, so there's more air coming into it. We yeah. lean it off by pulling it back slightly. But it did because it was quite a low altitude, so there's no need to do it at the minute. Okay. That was how we do it. So, that's fully rich and we can pull it back to lean it. And pulling it completely out is the idle cut off. Yeah. That's what stops the engine at the end of the flight. Okay. Car peak, we just demonstrate. So about every five, ten, ten minutes in the flight, we do what's called a Frieda check. I'm sure you, you've been familiar uh, with that. Yeah. So it's like a good airmanship check. It's fuel, yeah. radios. So if you check how we got enough fuel. Yeah. Radios, we're talking to currently talking to Doncaster, and we've got Santos on our standby. Yeah. Engines, we check our temperatures and pressures, make sure everything's in the green. Yeah. And when we're at engine, we also sparks us on, gives us, makes our brain trigger to put the car peak check on. So we're checking the car peak. The RPMs dropped slightly there. Yeah. So if we put it back on again, it's gone back to where it was. If it had gone back to a higher RPM, it might have been that there was a bit of carb icing in there. Right. As well. Okay. Then we do the D, which is for direction, so they are aligned at the moment or not. So if you swivel that round and put that, push it in and put that to about 10 degrees, about 10-15 degrees. 
bit less, that's 20. About there. Perfect. Yeah. That's now aligned. And the last thing is the altimeter, so we've got 1003 when we spoke to Doncaster. Yeah. Okay, let's just turn us around. Next. Um, in, um, instrument we're going to look at it, the, well, control is the flaps. Yep. So turn us around before we do that. That all makes sense so far, happy with it? Yep. Okay. Okay, so you have you have control and regain me the data attitude in this direction where the river where the river is all bending. So regain the data attitude there. Yep. So what we're gonna look at now is operating the flaps. So we do what's called Limitation, operation, indication when we're looking at the flaps. So the first thing is our limitation. We can only operate the flaps within this white arc. If we're outside that white arc safe speed, it's, too, it's structurally not right for the flaps. It can um, yeah. cause problems for them. Yeah. So we check for in the white arc. So I'm just going to slow it down slightly. Yeah. So if you just nose raise the nose. So we're in that white arc now. So we can put the flaps down. So you put the flaps down here. You put them down for me to 20. And we monitor that here. Oh, so okay. that's the operation. So that was our limitation. This is our operation. And the indication is we've gone upside because we've prod more lifts. So we yeah. slightly push the nose down when we do that. Right down to 20, so keep looking down a bit more. But, and stop there. And yeah. it's a central position is neutral. Yeah. Okay, so then if you put the up for me again. Flaps up. Flaps up again. Yeah. So limitation, operation, and indication. That's it, and then off. That's yep. perfect. So that's the flap. So can you see, when we put the flaps down, with the nose start to go up. So if we put the flaps down, you know it goes up, so you yep. slightly forward on it to keep the keep your datum attitude. Yep. If you notice when we put the flaps up, the nose, again, did the opposite. Yep. So we keep, always have to, just to just slightly just to keep our nose where it wants to be, so we don't climb or descend later on. We'll yeah. look at that when we do our climbing and descending tomorrow, or on our next lesson. Yeah. The last things we need to look at are actually the cabin ventilation system. So we've got heat here, yeah. we pull it on, it's obviously quite a warm day today, so we won't. Or cold air, we can pull here. Okay, so do you want to have a, well, I didn't really have a go, we just yeah. pull, pull, up and pull yeah. forward. The last system we'll look at is actually the fuel system. So where's the fuel system on this plane? What do you mean by the fuel where's system? Where's the fuel on and off switch? Uh, actually here. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, so, yeah. So yeah. on is facing that way, yeah. off that way. Yeah. We won't turn it off because we want to keep our fuel. Yeah. But that's where it is if we need it. I did know that. I did not know. So, that's, made, that's the less, really the lesson complete. So what I want you to do now yeah. is regain the data attitude for me. Perfect. And I'm going to put it control again. Yep. And I'm going to set it now there. So if you regain the data attitude for me. Perfect. So it's that third of the way down. The yeah. combing is in line with the horizon. Yeah. And the wing tips off. Looks at the level as well. So yeah. we're just keeping that picture though, most of the time. Any questions on that? No. Okay. Yeah. So that we've gone through the control sequence. Yeah. Who has control and who's following through? Yeah. So let's practice that again. I have control. Perfect. You have control. So keep that data attitude. Okay. Practice on that for a little bit. So we've got the chimneys in the in the distance there. Yeah. Basically what we're aiming for. And we keep a good lookout as well. We want to look out all around so we make sure that we're not there's no one about that we're going to go into. Yeah. Good, that's really good, that. And you've got your thermometer here as well, though, for the outside air temperature. Oh, OK. We've got our suction, which is driving our instruments, our amps, 
Our fuel. Yeah. Oil pressure. Oil temperature. Off the side, we don't really look at these. Our RPM. Yeah. Our radios. Our transponder. ATC. Nothing air systems. The flaps. The mixture. Yeah. Throttle. Carpet. Trimmer. This for when we're using the nav. We'll look at a couple of lessons time. Our vertical speed indicator. Yeah. Our altimeter. Well, which never works. <laughs> the um, aftertrizing or the HSI was on some planes. The DI, which we align with the compass. Yeah. The airspeed indicator and our turn indicator with our balance ball. Yeah. Okay. Five control seconds. Huh? Yeah, it's better. I'm glad we waited for that a little bit. Seems a lot better. Yeah. Oh, with that one coming in over there. Okay, so when we come out, I'm going to give you control and I'm going to ask you to and operate certain of the controls that we've, we've been through. Okay. Whilst maintaining the date of altitude. Yeah. Obviously. Look out that. He was fine about that. Okay. So, you have control? Yep. And keep the datum attitude for me. I'd like you to operate the carb heat. So we can't put one banana, two banana, three banana, four, and it can go away. We monitor it, the check set is back to 2300, so there shouldn't have been any carb ice present there. Yeah. Now, I'd like you to operate me the first stage of flaps, remembering what we did. So it's limitation. So we yep. check our white arc. So the white yep. arc, so we can operate. Yep. So operation now. Give me ten degrees of flap. Okay. You notice balloon, so it's slight pitch. That's it. Then turns out touched. And indication. So our flap. So we're yeah. doing the slight balloon there. So now raise me the flap again. And you notice the change there, that we have yeah. to keep that to keep maintain the datum attitude. Yeah. Because the flap gives us extra lift, so if we're taking it away, we're going to lose yeah. lift, and we put it on, we're going to gain a bit. Yeah. Perfect, so just keep the datum attitude for me there. Keep a good look at all times. That's good. We maintain the datum attitude, equal distance from there and there, like we said on the thing, and maintain the combing is level with the horizon and about a third away down the screen. Yeah. Perfect. Have you got any questions or are you happy with everything we've done so far? Happy with that. Okay. I have control. Yeah. house from here? Uh, probably not from here. Even if I could, I probably wouldn't be able to find it. Right, so I'd like you to maintain the datum attitude, put it back to the datum attitude so you have control. And keep it in this direction until we get to the M180. Okay. Right, about there, that's it. And we're going to look for the M180 and the bridge, because that's a good point to tell us when we're going heading back towards, when we can turn back towards Santos. Yeah. Good. About that. So 
I think that, you see the wagons on the motorway there? Yeah. I think that's put the M180. Uh -huh. Is the M8, is it M18, the M18, M18. M18 that could meet it? Uh, yeah. So, we'll have to see the bridge over there, that's the Trent Bridge. That's a good point to come into. So, if I have control a second, yeah. I'm just going to point us in that direction. If you mainly maintain the now the datum attitude, heading for those two windmills yep. at this altitude, that's probably about right. Keeping that windscreen in the position there, yeah, and checking with the wings really that we're parallel with the horizon. That's good. It's a 1500 foot over joint. I don't know if you've read about that bit yet at all. Uh, no. No. Well, to cover that on another day, that's just what we need to be able to go back into the other one of the airport, so I'm just going to take it up to there. Okay. That was really good. You picked that up well. Have you got any questions at all on any of that? Uh, Does that no. all make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So when we do our next lesson, what we'll be looking at will be straight. straight we won't call it the data machine, it'll be straight and level. So yeah. But keeping straight on a certain heading, keeping our altitude at a certain height. They're flying quite quickly. Yeah, let's go around this one. I think it's moving that way, no, it should be okay. So, I'm following the M180 pretty much back into West Side. You can see Santos just coming up on the nose now. Yeah. Right over there, we're keeping it at 1500 feet. We'll do what we call an overhead joint. Okay. I'll give you a first follow through on the landing. Okay. Alright. Sandoff Radio Golf Mike Alpha Bravo Echo, three miles to the east of this field. Request for information. Golf Bravo Echo, Sandoff Radio, one way, two, three, right hand circuit, give you one, zero, zero, four. Two, three, right hand circuit, two, three, one, zero, zero, four, and we'll do an overhead joint. Golf Bravo Echo. Golf Bravo, go Roger. Downwind. Yeah, Bravo Echo, you've got uh, two in the circuit, uh, Bravo Foxtrot and uh, Bravo India behind. Top of the traffic, I'll start Echo. I've timed it right to get a nice power. Clean it off a bit anyway. Downwind 2-3 to the 10. Golf Pro, Foxtrot, 
Another shower coming through. Yeah, yeah okay, it looks nice behind it. Two CBs, that's about it. Okay, you can see the airfield just coming just under here. One just about to take off there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Got it. I won't bombard you with the detail, but I have a joint, so we'll do a proper brief on that. Okay. Radio final two three. Got record overhead. Five circuit button at 1500 feet from here. Yeah. So runway's just running below us here. Yep. You can see it, I'll just that. Yep, got it. Go for a fox shot, just turn down wind. See the wind. That's our record visual. I'm going to turn. I think at 1500 feet for the moment. Yeah. The circuit height here is a thousand feet. Okay. So we don't want to interfere with that kind of traffic, but we want to come down. Yeah. So we've got one over there, and two. Got from the Fox Shot final two, three. Coming on final. Yeah, you can see it now. Yeah, yeah, there's just one ahead as well, actually. 
Yeah. Have you got him? Yeah, yeah. I've got him, that. I'm not slightly that. So I'll maintain contact with him because it's quite a busy circuit today. Yeah. I'm talking to Austin just now. Oh, is he uh, in the office, is he? Yes, here. Oh, right, fantastic. I'm, I'm a down on this one anyway. See if you keep booking that exam, a NAV exam. Yeah, I'm talking about that. I can't find his membership. So it's just here fast. Right, see if you can, uh, see if you can sort it out for him, Mister. Okay. Go for it, India. Final T3. Go for it, okay. Final T3. Contact one ahead. Can I follow us through now? Say again? Can I follow us through now? Yeah, not on this one, I think we'll probably have to do a go around. Okay. But I don't think we're going to get in time for him. Alright. See if he does, if he doesn't do a full stop we might get in though. 30 degrees of flap. Yeah, you can follow to me through lightly on the controls. Okay. Following. Land beyond that, um, the puddle over today. Yeah. Off of a box stop, final two, three, four stop. behind us. Oh, so he's got the runway as well. Got that okay, they to the Delta. We 
just want to give him as much runway as possible because of that. They've got that big puddle there today. Yeah. Good luck. Okay, so if you've got your checklist yep. there, we need to do our after landing checks. So our brakes are set, throttle is at 1,200, uh, yep. carpet is cold, transponder can actually go to off. Yep, standing like yep. off. We'll keep it on actually because it's uh, just for a minute because there's people in the circuit and it's a bit murky. Up there, so what's going to come next? Straight off. Straight off. We'll leave it again, we'll leave Flaps up. Turn the straight off probably. Flaps up, so we put them up on the runway. Trim, and trim, trim. set back to neutral for the next person who's doing the takeoff. Oh, he's just turning down wind, so when this one's in, we'll backtrack. We just want to give him enough, we don't want to be on the runway when he's coming in, so it gives him enough room. Yeah. Especially with that puddle that they're doing as well. You said you've got the book at home, haven't you? Uh, no. No, you haven't, okay. So now it's the shutdown checks. Yep. So brakes are set. Throttles to 1,200. I'll let you do these. Radios go off. You uh, turn the radios off. This one here. So okay. all the way to the left until it goes off. The engine gauge is checked. So all in the green and checked here. Mixture. Uh, yep. So if you pull that like we said in flight, that's what we do. Engine off. Yep. Okay. So then the magnetos go to off. This the key. Okay, right. So yeah, all the way around to off. Them. Well, because we want to check if we leave them in, they can start the engine on the ground. So we always check that they're off before yeah. we take them out. Just keep the key in there. The last things to go and turn the red two red switches off. Perfect. That's great. That's it. Yep. Cool. Is that all right? Yeah, that was all good. Yeah, that's brilliant. You did really well with that. Thanks. Good one.